Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Click what, oh click. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there is a link in the description box below. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram, House of Virgo. The link is also well, I don't know if you can click on that to get there, but um, you can see how it's spelled. Um, okay, so this is going to be a love reading. It is the next 24 hours, but this energy can play out at any time. Okay, so, all right. Temperance. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy coming into balance, coming into focus. Um, peace and harmony at last. Divine timing. Okay, um, I feel like um, there's a settling energy, being able to um, temper yourself after a difficult time period. Some of you could be bartenders or chemists, or you could be connecting with someone who is. Um, but let's take a look here and see what else is showing up for you. It's also like self-control, moderation. I think. I think you're just trying to like maintain a sense of self-control, okay? Not wanting to be overreactive or underreactive. You're just like, Phew. all right, let me just calm myself here, okay? For others, you know, you could be connecting with the Sagittarius, but there is an energy here of someone who is coming into balance, peace, and harmony. And I feel like sometimes when I look at this card, it's like, the angel is doing all the behind the scenes to bring you both together with these two cups. This is chemistry as well. You may find you have incredible chemistry with someone, someone new, someone old, someone current, but I will pull some clarifying cards. Okay, the King of Pentacles is here. Um, that could be somebody, well, if it's another Virgo, you know, it's like you both get each other. There's a similarity here. Um, it could be Taurus or Capricorn. Um, but a very stable, somebody coming in, male or female, who shows to be very solid, practical. Um, maybe they have like financial investments. They're very wise with their investments. Um, it could be someone who's quite resourceful, domesticated, um, quite fertile. Um, you know, <laughs> as fertile as a, tur a fertile turtle. I'm just hearing a fertile turtle. I don't know what that means. Okay, wow, Nine of Cups, beautiful cards, Virgo. I feel like your last couple of readings were like, <laughs> went right in the bin. Um, <laughs> oh, somebody's coming in here wants to indulge in you, Virgo. Um, perhaps over the weekend, uh, some drinking, having some wine, having some dinner together. You might like, it's all like coming into play here with someone. Um, somebody's viewing you as being like a wish come true. Like you're a dream boat. Just heard that song. I'm really dating myself here. Dream boat Annie. <laughs> okay. I know some of you might be close to my age. You remember that album from the seventies by heart feeling heart, you know, that, heart chakra energy that I love you, harmony, compassion, relationships, healing. Oh yeah, it's speaking to me. Something nice coming in here and someone who's very grounded and understands you and gets you. This person comes in, um, they may come in and give you like a beautiful flower. Um, there is an energy of maybe a little bullheadedness, but um, Feet firmly planted on the ground. This person dresses nice or, you know, just has quality clothing, um, drives a quality vehicle, has a nice pair of shoes. Now, you'll notice them by their shoes. All right, Virgo, pay attention. I know, I just see you walking down the street or being out somewhere and you're just like checking out the shoes. House of Virgo, Kelly said, check for the shoes. When you see those real fancy, I'm not talking about, like I'm talking about some fancy shoes here, Virgo. 
You're going to be like, wow, where'd you get those shoes? You'll notice them. Oh, okay. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be a friend of yours that's setting you up. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um, you may have an earth sign setting you up with a water sign or a water sign setting you up with an earth sign. Um, but the energy, male or female, there's stability here. And there's also um, nurturing, healing, supportive energy or someone who's supportive, leader, tolerant. Okay. It could be one person. It could be earth with water in their chart or water with earth in their chart. Um, lovely. This person's a good listener. Okay, that's I'm looking at that clam, and I'm just feeling like somebody. You know, how you hold a shell up to your ear, and you can hear the ocean. Like you listen for things. Very intuitive energy with this person. Let me see what else here. Okay, center of the reading. <laughs> Figures. Everything was going so well, Virgo. Seven of Swords. You just can't get a break, can you, Virgo? Okay, center of the reading. The Seven of Swords, this is like a running away. Well, I don't even want to continue, but we're going to pull some clarifying cards here. Oh, they just said, no, 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 no. They said, no. They're saying, Kelly, calm down and listen to the rest of the message of what we're trying to tell you. This is a getaway. This is, they're saying, a sneak away to be together. Oh. <gasps> Sneaking away, sneaking away from work, sneaking away from responsibilities, um, going somewhere up in the mountains for some of you. Yeah, this person wants to steal your heart. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, spirit. Six of wands, yep. Okay. Whew. Look at this. This person might be in the public eye for some, or they're well known. Um, victory. Okay, um, there's an energy here, recognition, good news, and success. This person, oh, some, maybe they want to take you on a horse, horseback riding, I just heard. This person might be like, is that the word, equestrian, or they ride horses, or something, is that the word, equestrian, equestrian, or they do something in their community or in their job that they gain some recognition or they're well known for something. Um, but I feel like this person is, you know, they want to sneak you away, take you away. They're very confident about themselves. They have a, a, a sense of self-confidence here. Okay, let me see. This person does not give up. Okay, they will not retreat. All right, Eight of Swords. Okay. Page of Cups. Oh, Virgo. <laughs> I just kind of feel like you you want to sneak away with them, but you're like, I, some of you are just like, oh no, I, I can't. We still have restrictions. You know, or, or maybe you make up some excuse, like you kind of play like you're a victim or you're stuck at work, can't get out of something, you know, I feel like maybe because of your last few readings, um, and this person is going to look at you with that, like, come on, they're going to just try to sweeten you up a little bit. Talk to me, open up Piscean energy, you know, let's go away with me. <laughs> and I feel like you're like, ah, oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't, but there's communication. There's very nice communication. And this could be somebody new. This could be somebody you're connecting with. Let's see. Mm. Oh, wow. This person, like you are everything to them. They look at you and they just see you are so beautiful. I know some of you are like po posting pictures on social media. You know, uh, this person does not care if you're filtering for days or if you're just you're looking good you you know you're dressing well they're looking at you now this is libra and energy as well it's also tari and energy but this person you know they see you maybe you're a mother or you're going through the change in your life but like you've got a glow about you and this is what they're attracted to 
the beauty of your soul, the unveiling of what's deep within you. This person, you know, I know, Virgo, you're like, I mean, maybe you may not, you're just very, um, <laughs> you just, everything in moderation with you, Virgo, you, you're very humble. You don't see yourself as being like, you know, the empress energy, but they see you that way. In fact, they put you up on like a pedestal. They view you as like they could never live up to you, but I feel like that's why they want to steal some of your time, Virgo, and they just want to be with you. Um, you might just be kind of like playing this person off a little bit. Maybe you really like them, but you're kind of like, oh, I can't, I have to do my hair, I'm stuck at home, or I have my kids, or my grandchildren, or, you know, I'm stuck at work, or I have plans. Like you, and I feel like this person is going to try even harder, because you might be sort of avoiding them. Okay, and this person doesn't care about any restrictions or any excuses. They are coming in, they're going to find ways to gain your attention. All right, let's take a look at temperance here. Okay, yep, three of wands, just waiting patiently for things to shift and change. This person, um, they want to travel to you. They're just waiting for the right time. You know, it doesn't have to be travel. It can be, but it could also just be like, when is the right time to go, the right time to move towards Virgo? All right, let's look at the King of Pentacles here. Oh, the emperor. Okay. Aries energy. So this person sits very grounded, stable, good worker, good job, but they're actually, um, that's an aspect of their personality. They are truly the emperor. The emperor and the empress go together. And I feel like that's why this person sees uh, similarities between the two of you. They see like you guys have a lot of things in common, your work ethic, your, um, the way you save money, your abundances, the way you take care of business, take care of your children, um, if you have any, your grandchildren, or just family in general, or just the way you take care of yourself. They feel like you are their other half, but they present as the King of Pentacles. Work, business, finances, all that seem to be the most important thing. And they may say to you that they work a lot, okay? But the Nine of Cups is here. This person just wants to indulge two nines okay um accomplishment transition you know i feel like this person their energy the energy coming from them is more along the lines of like persistence like they have their boundaries but they're willing to um drop some of those boundaries so that they could have like some time with you i don't know exactly what that means like i don't know if this person's like i feel like they'll nine is service so the nine number nine means service this person it's like in service to the queen or in service to the king that's how they view you like this person is like i'll drop i'll drop stuff just to come and make you happy and to make us both happy because i just like you're like oh wish come true for me so they'd be very servant oriented towards you you know and and quite like defensive in order to protect the the wishes that they have. Now, coming through as the Queen of Cups here is an energy of like, oh, here's the Two of Wands. Um, yeah, like waiting to see how you feel about them, if you would take them up on any offers to see what your emotions are, you know, because they have a, they want to make a decision and they want to do it fast. And I feel like they're going to communicate, but just to see how you feel about them or if you would like to like sneak away or just... You know, it could be go on a trip or just sneak away and not let anybody know and just like, oh, I just heard like spontaneous, impulsive, spend a little time together, um, go somewhere. I just heard not really let anybody know, um, keep that relationship or connection under wraps. Not because they want to do anything negative. It's just they just really want to be able to focus on you and not have any distractions or maybe like play hooky from work or I don't know, school, if somebody's in school. Yep, there's the eight of cups. Like that's going on that journey, that kind of energy. Um, oh boy. 
it just kind of feels to me like um like withdraw and retreat and sneak away that's it okay and the six of wands let's see what that energy is here six of wands oh nine of pentacles oh yeah they want to turn you from a single pringle into um and like their partner <laughs> their intent to get you to notice them nine of pentacles i mean virgo if that isn't another one of your minor arcana cards i don't know what is nine of pentacles is like i am financially successful i enjoy my life my solo pleasures i am self-sufficient i have my luxuries i have my home i have my car i have my my glass of wine i'm like all that in a bag of chips i know i'm really dating myself saying this but this person they see you maybe as being successful in many ways you have what they don't i'm not exactly sure what that is they might deem you um just maybe whatever you have they don't have maybe they once had it or they or they they don't have it anymore but maybe it's you've accomplished so much in your life and like they see it and they're very attracted to your success or your ability to like be self-sufficient and single and independent it's almost as if like because you don't need them they're they want to bring you in it's because you're like i'm fine look at me i'm looking all hot and sexy in my archway in my garden with all my like you know people are you might be like a model or someone takes photos of you or something, you know, and they're like, wow, I'm just seeing like their eyes boing out of their head and their tongue flips out, you know, <laughs> about you. Maybe you maybe you're in a position of like you have high status of some sort. So I don't know. Are you putting this person off? You might be putting them off for some reason. Let's see here. Oh, yes your intention is just like oh i'm just gonna make them wait <laughs> but you're assessing you're kind of like giving off this vibe of like you can't you can't go with them or you can't connect with them you can't be with them but it's also um with the hangman and it's piscean energy it's kind of like just i need a little time because i need to figure out what you're about <laughs> but this person you need to know will wait oh virgo they're gonna wait for you they will wait and their new idea perspective that they've got is i'm gonna just keep messaging virgo all this this lovely sweet loveliness here this communication they may even send you a picture so that you get attracted to the way they look you know um or try they're just trying to entice you to like spend some time and i just feel like you're kind of like i don't know maybe i mean who are you <laughs> page of wands oh and the two of cups on the page of cups this person is smitten with you or go holy what they have a major crush on you i don't know if this is like a um a recommitment revitalization of someone from your past but the two of cups is here romance 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 okay um <laughs> This is like partnership, proposal, marriage. This person is like hot to trot for you, Virgo. Some of you might be on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. Um, or September 3rd, I just heard. Or the 9th, the 7th, the 6th, the 8th. Um... Just heard the 16th. Maybe the second. The fourth. Hmm. The twelfth. Interesting. Okay. Oh, King of Swords. That was yesterday's reading. Okay, Virgo. This is an Aquarius libra gemini but i'm gonna tell you what 
for the majority of you, this person's coming in as the emperor. So he embodies all the kings. This person is showing up. The, the elements and sides that this person is showing up is the king of pentacles and the king of swords. Intentional communicator, strategic, says exactly what's on his mind or her mind, but is not... Um, is not mouthy is well thought out intellectual conversation this person is going to try to impress you with their threads or their clothing <laughs> or what the things that they have or their work or you know whatever but then you might just kind of be like yeah and and then they're going to come in and try to impress you with the words or their their smarts or their intellectual conversation and they're going to be witty and try to like you know, they give back as much as you, because Virgo, come on, you know you have that. You have that streak in you, Virgo. You, you're very similar to like Gemini, um, where you can be very quick-witted and fast on your feet when you talk. So <laughs> they're coming, they're going to they're gonna show those two sides, the earth side and the air side, okay? Um, let's get... What cards do I I do next? Let's get the Angel Wisdom. Okay, so like I said, this could be, um, it's Emperor and Empress Energy. So this could be someone from your past. It could also be somebody new. But I guess you're just going to have to wait and see. Um, most of you, it's somebody new. I'm just going to put that right out there because I don't have any reunion cards here, okay? So for most of you, somebody new is coming in here and trying to get your attention, trying to get you to go out with them. Um, we'll see how the story unfolds later, but just be, just be aware. Let's see. Okay, you have the three of pentacles. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of your work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and an excellent reputation. That's you, Virgo. Be proud of that. <laughs> the emperor. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation, accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. That's how this person sees you, but you have an emperor here. There is no doubt. For some of you, it is totally an Aries who is like wowed by you. Okay. Um, let's see what else here. And if the Aries is your past person, you take it as it resonates. It could be a new one coming in. Let's see what else. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. See? I mean, it's just... What am, what am I going to say? Generous. That's you. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed, Virgo. I feel like you're going to do that. A love of art and beauty, a sensible approach. This person is just completely like, I feel head over heels for you. They're really going to try, really, really try to get your attention. Well, I just saw it. there's a kitty cat here. I haven't seen the kitty cat. I'm picking up some Leo energy as well. Um, I never saw a cat on there before. It's so cute. Okay, seven of pentacles, seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be revealed in the future, the need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future, unnecessary worry, don't let yourself get in a worry state, Virgo. Okay, oh, the dreamer, a new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. Yeah, you're not ready to do that just yet, but this person is, they're going to take a leap of faith to come towards you and they're really going to try to make something happen. Okay. Now, for those of you who feel this is resonating for a past person, let's get a couple of cards to see what they might want to say to you or what this past person is feeling. 
I understand you better now. Okay, I was careless with you. I wish you would come back. Ooh, okay. I want to trust you. They might have a hard time with trust. I know I made a mistake. Okay. I fear that you will reject me. <laughs> They're doing it anyway. They do have the fear though. They must have really screwed up. I'm sorry. Wow. All right. For those of you as a past person, just so you know, you don't have to take this person back. Okay. This person, I lied to you. I think they're sorry that they lied. I'm sorry I lied to you. I want to trust you. I know I made a mistake, but I fear that you will reject me. I understand you better, but I was careless with you, and I wish you would come back. I forgive you. I've been struggling. Okay, Virgo, you might have been like not really seeing that, or they feel... Maybe you were seeing that they were struggling, but you just couldn't, maybe they weren't accepting any help, but they feel like maybe you weren't offering enough help and please don't think that you need to go back and do that. I'm just picking up their energy towards you. <laughs> I pretend that I don't care. That's why, because Virgo, you were trying to help this past person. You were trying to be there for them and connect with them and try to be understanding through their struggle um and they pretended that they didn't care or they needed or that they needed your help and maybe you left and they do forgive you for leaving and i feel like they realize here that they were careless they should have fought for you Okay, they might be a little bit arrogant. They're waiting for an apology. <laughs> this is comical. Please leave me a funny joke. Caption, I'm waiting for an apology. What would you say to this person if they were the one who, who was in the wrong? Please comment below. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure. For some of you, this might ring true. Maybe you said something. <laughs> Maybe you, because, hey, you're Virgo. You might have said something and just like crash and burn because you are Virgo. You might have had a moment. You just might have had a true blue Virgo moment and said, you're a piece of or something. <laughs> Leaving you hurt me too. Okay. I feel like there was an argument with a past person or something happened and it just like, yeah, this person doesn't want to feel like that. They don't want to feel like you hate them. All right, Virgo, I'm leaving it here. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Check back in tomorrow. There'll be another daily upload. And uh, these readings are always interesting for you, Virgos. That's why I'm doing this channel, because who else to better understand a Virgo but a Virgo? So I wish you all the best. I'll see you tomorrow. Love ya. Bye.